All right, today uh, I wanted to show you guys how to use uh, a program uh, called Deep Burner. Um, this is Paulio Jr. checking in, and basically, Deep Burner is probably one of the most simple programs out there. Um, pretty sure it's just for Windows, um, probably anywhere from like Windows 2000 uh, up to Windows 8 by now. Um, and basically, DeepBurner allows you to um, ha has a lot of capability, and it's still a couple years old, but it's so simple. Uh, the first thing is to be able to burn uh, data, CD, and DVDs. Uh, second thing, second thing is to burn audio CDs, and the third thing is to burn ISO images, uh, which I had to <laughs> I actually had to look up. I know what it is, but I didn't know actually what it stood for. And it stands for the International Organization for Standardization, uh, <laughs> but we'll get into that. Uh, so if if you're having, uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of really simple programs out there, and a lot of uh, programs, default programs that come with operating systems now. Um, but I, I still use DeepBurner uh, just because of the simplicity of it uh, and, and the uh, and the quickness of it. So uh, if it's something you're interested in. Um, to burn CDs, DVDs, audio CDs. Uh, you can make covers in it. Uh, you can even make a bootable uh, CD. So when it when the CD pops in, uh, an image will pop up, and you can access files like that. So it's it's like it's pretty legitimate. Um, but if you you know want to continue this video, uh, what you would do uh, is go to in, in your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome, uh, DeepBurner.com, and from there. You'll see the top right here, uh, download now for DeepBurner, and then download the DeepBurner free 1.9. Uh, really small file. Uh, it should download in two seconds for anybody else. I have a, I have a really uh, crappy uh, <laughs> 4G wireless internet because it's cheap as hell. But what are you gonna do? Um, Long story short, you know what to do with this when it's done. Uh, open it up and follow the prompts. Uh, you know, run it, go through the prompts. See, mine's asking me to uninstall it because I already have it. So go through, install it, do what you got to do. Uh, you know, it should create a desktop icon like so, uh, or something in your in your uh, startup uh, list, in your programs list. So. I'm using XP. I know I'm old school, but deal with it. <laughs> uh, so basically, like I said, uh, when you open up DeepBurner, you're going to have three options. The first one is to create a data CD or DVD, and that is to burn uh, individual files that you have saved on your computer, and you want to, you know, you want to back them up to have them, um, you know, on an, a an actual hard copy on a disk. So. Uh, second option is obviously to create an audio CD. You want to create a CD that you want to pop in your car, you know, listen in a in an old school uh, <laughs> stereo system or something like that. Pop it in the Xbox. You know the deal. CD. If somebody has a CD player, God bless you. Um, it'll work for that too. Uh, and then the ISO image is basically um, this one file that contains a, a ridiculous amount of information that when it is burned onto a CD or a DVD, um, say if it was an ISO of a game, uh, it's this one file, you put it in the deep burner, deep burner burns it to a CD or DVD, uh, so for instance if we had an ISO of uh, what I have, I have a game called Heroes of Might and Magic, uh, old school game. And I have a file of that. The whole game is in one little file, but you can't play it through that. So what this allows you to do is burn that to a CD. When the CD's done, you put it back in. It has all the information on it for you to install the game and play it from there. So, um, but anyway, so we'll do the first option, which is the uh, the create data CD DVD option. So right now, I just have a regular uh, CDR in it. Um, which holds, uh, what is it, eight, uh, 700 megabytes, I'm sorry, eight, 80 minutes, 700 megabytes. So you, you come up with these three options, and to create the multi-session disk um, is basically 
Um, you can use this. I, I typically do use this. Um, I use this or this. It's the really the, the difference between this is when you create a multi-session CD, it's mostly for DVD-RWs, um, and it it keeps the CD open, so there's n so nothing else can be written on it. Uh, I mean, so so other things can be written on it and uh, taken off of it and whatnot. Uh, in the future, so if you want to edit a CD later, you would use this. Um, if you wanted to use this, that means when the CD's done, it's closed. There's no going back. It's done. You know the deal. Uh, append a session is if I had like a CDRW in there with files already on it, um, I could add f I could add more files onto it or remove files from that. CDRW or DVDRW, whatever you're using. So basically, we're just going to do the the multi, we'll just do the multi-session disc uh, for now. They're all come up the same. So um, create, but the append session will have if the CD's already in there, it should have the files that are already on there and stuff. Uh, create a multi-session disc. So uh, the name of this is the name of the CD that's going to be in. Uh, when you pop it in, that's what's going to come up and say, okay, like how some of them might say, if you had an audio CD, it would say, I don't know, Tupac's greatest hits, you know, so uh, we'll just make ours like, you know, Polio Jr.'s test. So, uh, too long, never mind. Polio Jr. Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, and then this is where you're going to put this is where you're just going to put regular files. Uh, so let's let's see what we got here. I might just do something something stupid here. Um, blah, blah, blah. My videos um, and just do that. I got some old webcam videos here, so I'm just going to just chuck a bunch in there. Um, and basically, what this is going to do first, it'll show you at the bottom right here how much space you're gonna fill up on the disk that's in there so if you have a C CDR usually CD minus R is what you're gonna use uh, you're gonna have 700 uh, megabytes to fill on that on that CD that's in there and if you had a DVD usually you want to use a minus R uh, you have 4.7 gigs uh, on a DVD minus R. So you have a lot more room, obviously. Um, more than five times the amount. Um, and, th and like I said, I mean, this is just really if you just wanted a hard copy uh, of what of files that you thought, hey, these, this is pretty important. I, I really don't want to lose this. I, you know, I could upload it to a cloud or to some backup storage. Or you know you could even put it on an external hard drive, but this is just for burning, because um, even uh, you know even external hard drives go every once in a while. So um, from here, basically, you would just we'll just make it try to do it really simple right now. Uh, you would go to that burn option or tools. Oh, sorry, record, burn, etc. Um, and then obviously burn. Uh, and then this progress bar would commence. The buffer would have met. Would have the this is the the progression bar, and the buffer is just uh, basically the the rate at which your your uh, CD or DVD burning drive is is uh, is going at. Um, you can also erase things that are on. Um, you can't erase anything that's on a CD minus R. You can erase things that are on a CD CDRW. Um, and you can also save this image. So if I wanted to save this image, I could save it as, uh, you know, test. And then later on, I can actually burn that image, bring that image back up, and just how it is, and then burn it into. So all those files are going into one file called an ISO, and then I can actually bring that up later using the other option burn ISO to um, to basically burn it how we had it originally so 
Uh, I'm just going to cancel this crap. And it makes a fun little noise. So, um, all right. There's an, yeah, not really else in here. Um, we'll, we'll go back and do the extras. We're just going to do the simple stuff real quick. So I'm not going to save this. Uh, I'm going to do the new. Uh, next thing we're going to do is an audio CD. Uh, this is simple. Um, you can either drag tracks into here. Uh, I'm just going to right click in here, add tracks to layout. My computer, my music. Uh, let's just do. Hmm. See the kind of stuff I like. We'll do from all the ashes. This is an old school one, so I don't know if this is in track order, but you know, whatever. But it'll put it in his track one to twelve, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, on a on a audio CD, you have eighty minutes. So at the top here, we have forty nine. As long as it's not, I mean it. Always just go by the total length. Um, you're usually not going to fill up all this space on here uh, unless it was an uncompressed file like a dot wave or something like that, which is really unheard of anymore. Um, so the MP3, I don't, I don't believe it does MP4s. I, I know it does MP3s, waves, mids, um, and so forth. So I, I'm not sure if it does MP4s yet. Um, but you know, from there, you can basically go to uh, what you call. So you want to burn it. Same thing right here. Burn the disc. Yada yada yada. Burn that baby. See you later. Um, and then, like I said, we'll go back to some of the extra stuff here. So, and then, no, we don't want to. We're gonna do another new one. The last one. An ISO image. So, like I said, this is the what the hell is it? I forget. <laughs> International Organization for Standardization. I wish I always knew what it was, but I never knew what the hell it stood for. Um, so now we're in the ISO part. Now I believe you can either drag an ISO file in here, or you just click this little weird three dotted icon here. I don't know why it's so damn small. Uh, and we'll do a Heroes 3. ISO. Now what that was was it's actually a, an entire video game into one compressed little file except you can't play it just from clicking on it um, you have to either burn it to a CD or they have other software where you can mount an ISO and play it virtually so to speak so um, but I, I prefer to just burn it have a hard copy play it when I need to play it instead of going through all that extra hassle um, so from there you know same thing it'll you know you, sh you should be good right there it'll tell you if you go over you know how much it's supposed to this is enough to fit onto one CDR it's, it's an old game I think it's from like 1999 it's an old game so basically I would just burn the ISO and same thing the progress bar would go the device buffer would go and when it was done uh, I would basically play the game or the game it would eject I put it back in and then it would have the the boot up where it would say you know do you want to install the game and all that good stuff so I that this is a really really quick and good ISO burner burning program uh, now some just two little extra things that it has and then we'll be finished up here uh, number one um, no so we're just going to do a regular CD DVD data. Now I thought this was pretty cool, and we'll actually go through uh, the process of uh, of doing it real quick, just so you guys know how to do it. So let me grab. I grab a blank CD for you, okay? And we're just going to create a multi-session disc. I would say the majority of people are probably going to use either multi-session or no multi-session. I usually just do multi-session, doesn't matter, um, but you can use no, no multi-session either. And from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and just drag um, a really quick file on here just so we can get this done pretty quick. So uh, I got a cool little picture of 
uh, Metal Gear Solid that I'm going to put in here. And that's the only file that we're going to put in here. Now what this thing does have, it's called a, well, I call it boot, but it's called auto run. Now it's, it's not flashy, you know, it's not like graphically enhanced. You can make a little custom design, uh, you know, of something that you have and make that the background picture just for time purposes. We're going to just use what they have. So this is the layout. Now the auto run is basically what happens when the CD is done burning. When you put the CD back in, this this right here is going to show up with whatever crap we want to put into it, titles and links and stuff like that. Um, so, like, if you had if you bought a video game, if you bought Modern Warfare Three or something like that, uh, and you pop that CD in, you know that they have their own screen that comes up that says, "Hey, do you want to install? Read this, yada yada yada." Uh, and basically, what I'm going to do real quick. Is we're going to do something called all the options right here. They have their little cheesy buttons, but and you can pick your own button. Um, so I'm going to do an open file. This little knobber down here. I don't, I've never used the word knobber, but open file. So this is what we already had selected to burn. So we're going to open that, uh, and right now we're going to hit finish. A couple things are going to pop up, but you'll see. So we hit finish. Now this right here. When we click that, after the C is done burning, it'll open up that picture. So we're just going to write uh, open metal uh, gear. I just slapped the microphone. And we're going to use font color yellow just to make it seeable. And you can put all kinds, I mean, there's a tons of stuff you can put over here. Like I said, I mean, I know it looks cheesy. It's a couple years old, but it, it still works really well. Um, so we'll put that in the middle, uh, and then the title. And you know, you can't edit edit it like in here. You have to do it over here in the text. Um, so uh, testing, blah blah blah. Come on, stretch out. And then this is just another kind of text thing comment so you go here text uh, one two three or polio juniors test okay stretch that out and we're not really doing anything too fancy here but you can go in the and then this is the exit button this is when this whole screen will come up when you pop in the CD and you have the option of opening Metal Gear it'll open up that picture and then you have the option to exit now in the exit you have to put your own image um, so I just kind of you can make your own has to be a bitmap I'm just going to use this one uh, I don't know we'll just throw it right here and you can if you want you can put text on it if not you know it's up to you uh, so it has it, what it does at the bottom which is the hint font size so we'll make the font size like 20 and we'll make the color you know fucking green or some shit I don't know green yeah it has green and after so and it says use auto run program so you can unselect or select that so now we're, we're gonna do we're gonna run through this really quick and just show you so we're gonna burn this it shouldn't take long at all there's just one file on there and if it takes longer than than 30 seconds, then I'm going to hang myself um, in this YouTube video and make sure my parents upload it just to show you. So, where are we at? 30 seconds. Did we make it? Oh. Make it. I got the news tied. Oh, God. Uh, no. No. Oh. Sorry. Got to do it. Come on, you bastard. Still have to tie the noose. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and it makes a cool little noise for you, too. Alright, so now the CD popped out. Now we're going to pop the CD back in and show what we just made. Which is pretty, I mean, this is actually pretty cool for a couple years old. I mean, if you're not really too into this stuff, you kind of want basic things, but. Um, it's cool to show your grandparents, maybe your parents, you know, freak them out and be like, oh, I'm so smart.
that's what I do all the time. I show them real basic stuff. And they're like, that's amazing. How'd you do that? <clears throat> so this is what we just made. This is what I just showed you. Uh, so <clears throat> if you wanted to click the exit, it would exit the screen. So we want to open Metal Gear. We're going to open up that picture. And it shows the picture that we did. These are just fonts. Now we want to exit uh, this auto run. So bye-bye. Cool. Not too bad, right? Just wasted a CD for you guys. So you owe me six cents. <clears throat> and now, last thing I wanted to show you was the, the print labels. So if you had an audio CD, whatever, they all have this. So we are we're in the CD DVD file option. You can do the the audio CD and then add tracks and go to uh, whatever it is, uh, my music, and we'll just do some some 303, blah blah blah. Open it up. And so basically we already did the audio part, so I'm just gonna go over to the print label part. <coughs> now in here, this is where you, if you have that certain kind of uh, adhesive paper um, that it'll print out, uh, you know, in this, make sure it prints out in this exact circle. They're usually set up just like that, so you have, all you have to do is print it. So, um, so I just go to my pictures and then I have a Lincoln Park cover here, which we'll use. Um, so you want to kind of match it up as as best you can. It'll it'll stretch out to how it needs to. So you want to get it to that circle. I'm not the best at this, so forgive me. And by then, and then you would basically just print that. Not from there, you know. Um, other things you can do with this, not too much. So you can insert a title, put it there, um, and then these are actually the track list. So that actually is right there. It's for the track list. So if you could somehow, uh, you know, fix that to, can you even stretch this shit out? Or you can somehow like fit that somewhere where it has all the track licks, track licks, the track lists. Um, they're actually pretty cool. So, uh, and then print that out. You have, and also it's down here. So you have the C label. You can even do the booklet. You can do the case insert, stuff like that. Um, if you have a software for this or, or the paper for it, um, you know, it's definitely a lot easier. But this is just something that, that Deep Burner includes. Uh, and all the, they're all the same size as DVD, simple D DVD, normal CD, slim CD, but not pocket DVD. A little bit different. But pocket DVD, you might have to squish that down just a smidge. So, but um, yeah, other than that, I mean that that's really all I have. I mean you can do, you can save, you can always save your projects and then open them up back into deep burner um, they, ha they even have obviously they have like the, the help uh, content and stuff like that and if you want to mail their developers I know <coughs> we all do that all the time because we're so appreciative when we get free stuff that all we want to do is just mail these people all the time and that's what I do at least so um, but any questions or comments uh, please feel free uh, to leave your questions or comments on the page so uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this thank you very much for watching uh, I'm not sure how you sat through this but um, so message me leave comments I'll help you out as best I can if there's any, anything else that um, you know that you're having trouble with but uh, hopefully that was pretty straightforward all right guys see ya